There's like too much going on here. Spider-Verse one is cool. Superman. That's crazy looking. Went to Half Price Books. Actually found some stuff that I've been looking for. So I'm super stoked to show you guys everything that I found. I got Pokemon Adventures. This is volume six. This was $5. And the main reason why I bought this is because on the back it features Gengar and Haunter, which are my husband's favorite Pokemon evolution line. Gengar is his favorite. And I have never seen the manga books that have him on the front or the back so i decided to grab it and i also just loved the cover art on the front i also got two volumes of rosario vampire that i didn't have slowly trying to complete this one still um this was an anime that i loved when i was definitely probably too young to be watching this anime um but anyway rosario vampire this is volume 10 it's got some pretty good yellowing on it but it was five dollars and it's crazy because these are just teen so the anime like definitely didn't well i say that and then i uh get to a page and i'm like oh and then rosario vampire this is season two volume two i'm pretty confident i don't have this one i mean i was looking at it and i was like i don't think i've ever seen this artwork so I don't think I have this one. Um, and then something really cool that I found was Chainsaw Man Volume 12. This is the Japanese version though. Uh, Chainsaw Man is one of my favorite anime mangas ever. I am so passionate about the characters and the story and emotionally attached and I love it. I am not up to date on the manga. I don't know why, like I still just need to settle down from the first the first <sighs> and I was like this is pretty cool and I love the Japanese manga because it's so much smaller so really excited about this it's got the slip cover and it is just so satisfying and the slip cover has Puchita on the inside let's do the clearance books first because this is also really cool um, I got the hardcover version of Milk and Honey. This is a poetry collection. I don't even want to try and say that name because I know I'm going to say it wrong. But this book was super popular, I think, when I was in high school. What's the publication? 2016. Yeah. So this was right around uh, my junior year of high school. There was a lot of people reading this. This was all over, like, Twitter and... Um, social media platforms at the time everybody was talking about this book which is super nice quality and it's got a little bookmark in it and somebody loved this book because there's a bunch of tabs oh my gosh and there's it's such nice handwriting though 
Their footnote is, there is always more love to give. I found it's better than feeling numb. Besides, it's easier to give love to someone else than to yourself. I've been wanting to find Stephen King in the clearance section for forever. And it all started with this one. This book I saw at Half Price Books years ago. It's always there. And it's always intrigued me because you can see that the shovel is cut out. The cover underneath is so beautiful. Like, oh. And I literally looked at this book when we walked in again because I was like, I love this book. Like, it's so aesthetically pleasing. I have no idea what it's about, but it has been calling my name for a long time. And they had it in the clearance section for $5 for a hardcover Stephen King. And this is probably the prettiest Stephen King book visually ever. Then I found Four Past Midnight. Um, this one's okay. It does have a slit up here. But also look at this picture of Stephen King. Oh my gosh. What a gem. I love that. Look at those sideburns. Crazy. No idea what this one's about either. It's five bucks Stephen King hardcover. I love these like covers and how they look on a shelf. So I was just like grabbing what they had. And then this one looks like it went on clearance twice. Nobody wanted it the first time, which is kind of crazy. So I don't know if this is a bad one. Um, but this is Stephen King Hearts in Atlantis. And it has a picture of a lost cat on a like telephone pole. Love and peace equals information. Lastly, we have some comic books. They had so many good Spider-Man comic books. And I think I got a few different things in here. Um, I collect Spider-Man comic books just because I want to. I don't collect them because they are necessarily valuable. I buy all the cheap ones, like $3 and under is usually what I want to spend on a Spider-Man comic if it's not a new release. Because if I go to the comic book store and buy one, they're between like $4.99 to like $6.99. That's like the new printing price, which is perfectly fine. But when it comes to like these older comics, um... I want like flea market, yard sale, cheap price, like give it to me. But I got the Superior Spider-Man. This is Edge of the Spider-Verse. Uh, I think this is issue 33. Look at this cover though. Gorgeous. Oh, that scared me. I thought it was my drink, but it was on my manga and my drink is fine. Um, because of the new Deadpool movie coming out, I felt like this was a cool one to pick up. It's Spider-Man and Deadpool. Which I don't own any of these and I've never read any of these so I'm really excited about this one actually. Um, I think this was the cheapest one that they had. The other ones were like $9. So I grabbed this one. This is number 13. It's also a beautiful cover. This is The Amazing Spider-Man Sins Rising. This is volume 47. But The Amazing Spider-Man is just my favorite Spider-Man like with the Ultimate Spider-Man and Spectacular Spider-Man and Peter Parker Spider-Man and all of them. The Amazing Spider-Man has just always been my favorite. So I like to collect the comics for this one specifically. I'm going to assume like need to track which ones I have because it's going to get a bit ridiculous. This one is Beware the Rising. This is volume 44. So this one I'm pretty sure goes in the same as this because of the rising thing going on. But yeah, really crazy cover. Made me think about Dune. Look at all that's happening here. Stunning. Love it. This cover tripped me out. This is Beyond Chapter 2, The Amazing Spider-Man, Volume 76. This was $2. Look at how tragic. Look at that. It's heartbreaking. If you played Spider-Man 2 on the PlayStation, that's what this made me think of. Absolutely wrecked my soul. Um, The Amazing Spider-Man, this is volume 77, Beyond Chapter 3, so this one actually picks up right after this one. So some of them do go together that I bought. Um, this one was two bucks as well. So, loved that one. Thought that looked cool. Uh, this is The Amazing Spider-Man, this is part of the Sinister War, uh, volume 71. And this one also just looks 
so crazy. And then the last Amazing Spider-Man, oh, this one's beyond chapter four, uh, but this one, it looks like it's got Morbius in the background. I think that's Morbius. I could be wrong, but I loved how this looked down here in his Spidey senses because I have those same exact Spidey senses in my Spider-Man tattoo. So love that. That was all the Amazing Spider-Man. Um, I grabbed this Peter Parker, the Spectacular Spider-Man. It has previews in it. Um, it's a free previews issue, so it's not a complete comic, but it's got Miles Morales, Spider-Gwen, and the Amazing Spider-Man. And I just thought this was cool. I love these little collector, like, sets, like, little preview things. This was only two bucks, but those are the three comics that you get teasers for. I got Spider-Man... Web of Life. This is 4 of 4, Kane, Scarlet Spider, and Grim Hunter, which Scarlet Spider is so funny. It says one will die, but this was $3. This looks like an OG, like, not a reprint, but the cover is beautiful, and I just love that one. And then I got two $1 comics. I got this Young Squadron. This is, I don't even know, this was a dollar, um, and I think it's got Miles Morales featured in the background, so I don't know what's going on with this, but you can see Spider-Man, Miles Morales in the middle. I don't know if this is supposed to be, like, him, and this is this person, and this is, I have no idea what this is, but it was a dollar. Was Attack on Titan, this is Anthology. I, I don't know what this is, but my husband loves Attack on Titan. And it was a dollar. So I figured I would grab it. We have some of the Pokemon comics. So I thought that he might like this. The cover art is beautiful on this. I don't want to flip through it because I haven't read Attack on Titan yet. And I haven't watched it. And I don't want any spoilers. So I'm not going to go through that. I'm going to save myself the trouble. But that is everything that I got from Half Price Books. Crazy haul. So many goodies. I am so pleased. Let me know if you guys were to go to Half Price Books, what would you look for? Like, would you look at the books? Would you look at the manga? Would you look at the comics? Would you look at the video games? Like, what would you go to Half Price Books if you've never been to one or you don't have one? And like, what would you look for? So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys. I'll see you again very, very soon. Peace out, Girl Scouts.